Begin right now with breaking news at noon. A magnitude 4.2 earthquake striking Southern California. It all happened just before 11 o'clock this morning near Little Creek in San Bernardino County up above the Cajon Pass. Welcome to KCAL News at Noon streaming live right now on CBS News Los Angeles. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo in today for Amy Johnson. There are no reports of any major damage or injuries. Luckily, assignment manager Mark Lou is live at the desk with the very latest and Mark. Just about everyone feeling this one. Yeah, that's right, Ross. We felt it here in the studio and it looks like people from one end of Southern California to the other felt this quake. Initially, it was reported as a 4.6. It was then downgraded to a 4.1 and then upgraded to a 4.1. Point two. This happens because the automatic sensors in Southern California make their best estimate as to what the quake intensity was. And then when it's reviewed by a seismologist, they make the final determination and they came to the conclusion this was a 4.2 magnitude earthquake. Now, looking here at the KCAL seismogram, you can see that this earthquake was felt on all five of our sensors Anaheim, Long Beach, Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and San Diego just at about 10 55 a.m. It shook all across Southern California. Now, as you said, there are no reports of any damage and a lot of people. People were wondering, is this at all related to the earthquake that we had earlier this week on Monday? That was a 4.1. We spoke to seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones a short time ago. Hear what she had to say about this quake. There are faults there that are capable of bigger earthquakes, so that's something we just need to be aware of rather than thinking it really changes the probability. I'd also point out that um, the two faults or two, the two earthquakes, the two magnitude fours, are really too far apart to talk about them being related to each other. Um, you know, we've been in a particularly quiet time in Southern California on the long term. Having two magnitude fours in one week is um, uh, not an every week occurrence, but it's not that unusual. Yeah, so uh, the only thing really in common between those earthquakes is that multiple people felt them. Coming out to my screen here, I'm going to show you where the epicenter was. It was in Lytle Creek. It's right here where the star is in the center of your screen, just to the west of the 15 freeway as it goes through the Cajon Pass. You can see all of these blue rings emanating out from the center. This is the waves of the earthquake as it passed through Southern California, certainly down into L.A. and San Bernardino, Riverside counties, and up into the high desert. This blue area you see here is the intensity as it shook outward from the epicenter. But this is the map that really tells the story. All of these blue boxes that you see on your screen, these are all self-reported incidents of people who said they felt it and the intensity by which they felt it. So you can see all the way up here in Barstow, across through Santa Monica into Oxnard and down into San Diego, almost to the Tijuana border. People reported feeling this earthquake just before uh, 11 a.m. this morning. And of course, the most important thing, was there any damage? The San Bernardino County Fire Department tweeted this out just a short time ago. Earthquake reported at 10:55 a.m. northwest of Lytle Creek, 4.1 magnitude. No reports of damage or calls for service related to the incident. And then, of course, Los Angeles City Fire, LA City Fire says they remain in normal operating mode. No reports of any injury structure or infrastructure damage within the LA City jurisdiction. Now, I've also checked Ross with Ventura County Fire and Riverside County Fire. Also, no reports of injuries there. So, anyone living in Southern California knows a level four magnitude four earthquake is enough certainly to feel possibly shake some chandeliers and knock something off of a countertop, but really no damage from an earthquake of that magnitude, at least so far this afternoon. We'll keep checking. If anything changes, I'll definitely let you know. All so right, Mark, to you. we know you're on it. Thank you so much.